if you like Pottery Barn but do not like paying Pottery Barn prices, today's video is for you. I'm going to show you some really easy Halloween dupes using Dollar Tree items to get a Pottery Barn look, so let's get started. Up are these flameless pumpkin candles. Now Dollar Tree has a ton of small faux pumpkins and they always have these flameless LED candle lights or tea lights. So I'm going to use two of these and two pumpkins and I did use these tea lights in a recent video which I will have linked down below. I made this cute Jack and Sally display. Now for the first one, I took the buffalo check off and then I'm gonna carefully hollow out a hole in this styrofoam pumpkin. And you want to make the hole deep enough so that the tea light actually goes into it and is flush. So for the other pumpkin, I had a little more difficulty getting that in. So I used a box cutter and just carefully traced around. Um, where that tea light is and then I kind of hollowed that out um, The styrofoam buffalo check pumpkin was much easier to work with this one took a little while But I just wanted to show you that it is possible. You just kind of keep working with it Of course be careful if you're using a box cutter or scissors that you don't cut yourself But you just kind of keep playing with it seeing where that candle can sit um, So you don't see it poking out and that is it for this. Now you can use any of the Dollar Tree pumpkins. Of course, I suggest using a foam one, not one of the ceramic ones because it would make it a little more difficult to get that candle in. But once you have the candles in, this is what it looks like and a total Pottery Barn dupe for way less. Pottery Barn inspired DIY are these haunted houses. Dollar Tree year round has these doll houses and actually in a recent video I shared a Pinterest inspired DIY where I made this Jack and Sally candle holder. This was a major dupe for a Bath and Body Works much more expensive candle holder and I will have that full tutorial down below. So there are lots of different things you can do with these doll houses. But for this project, I'm gonna use some of these scrap wood that you can find in the crafter square section at Dollar Tree. I'm gonna use one piece and then from that Jack and Sally project I shared not too long ago, I had two leftover roofs. So I'm gonna use one of them, spray painted it black, use one of these wood plank boards, also spray painted in black. And this is gonna give our house a larger look. So for this, I went on my Cricut and I just played around with the different windows and door designs that they had. Um, as always, I always say this in my videos, if you do not have a Cricut, um, that does not mean that if I share a Cricut, or Cricut project, you can't get an inspired look. Um, you can freehand, you can use a transfer, you can use a stencil, you can use stickers, lots of different options um, just to get kind of the window and door look. And then I decided to do some dry brushing to highlight the grooves on this house with some white. And I did that for all of the windows and all the shingles on the roof. Right through shingles? Yes. Obviously, I don't know my, my house parts. Um, but once that was done and dry, I'm just going to hot glue that. And then I did use some more scrap wood from the Dollar Tree so that this house has a way to stand up. So as always in my videos, I always keep scraps from other projects. I definitely encourage you to do so as well because they come in handy for other projects like the roof of that dollhouse, this little piece of scrap wood. Great ways to craft and decorate on a budget. to make a second house and I just spray painted this black and then I went ahead and did some dry brushing on the doors and the windows. I think the dry brushing just really makes everything pop. So I went ahead and did that and I thought this was a nice pairing with that larger house. I love how these turned out so let me know in the comments what you think about these. you want some more dollhouse projects, I did this Halloween countdown 
project not too long ago and then with the scrap wood I recently did some cool bookends so both of those tutorials will also be down in the description box in case you are interested. Also want to remind you if you are not already subscribed to make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video I upload two to three times a week. Lots of budget friendly home decor and DIY so you definitely don't want to miss out so make sure that bell is turned on. So next up was this adorable skeleton bowl. So Dollar Tree always has a ton of white bowls and plates. I picked up a white bowl that was pretty comparable to the Pottery Barn one. Again I used my Cricut but you can use stickers for this or even some paint markers. Lots of different options. I decided to go with the jack-o-lantern face instead of the skeleton face that was on the inspiration. Um, super quick and easy project, a great way to just dress up a white plain bowl. I did share this in my glassware hacks video, but I wanted to include it in this Pottery Barn inspired video because I feel like it definitely gets that look for a whole lot less. Finally, on my channel, I've shared two Pottery Barn inspired Halloween plates. These are really easy. You just take a white plate from Dollar Tree or one that you have. I provided printables for these. I decided to just cut and hot glue these, but I know that there are some cool techniques with Mod Podge transferring. You can go on Pinterest and see like a whole bunch of different ways to do that. Um, but for me, because I print my printables out on cardstock, which is obviously like a thicker, um, better quality paper, and these are just decoration, I don't mind just hot gluing on the plate. Um, also, if I decide to get bored with it, I can always just scrap away the extra hot glue, get rid of the design, um, and then just do something else with this. So that is why I do that. But of course, if you want this sealed, you can use Mod Podge and get the transfer look that way. But this is the skull one. And then I also did the same concept with a raven, which was similar to the Pottery Barn inspiration that I shared in the inspo pick. for the fun plates the Pottery Barn has is taking some plastic plates from Dollar Tree. I just went ahead and spray painted mine in black. Now originally I was going to add a decal but if you look to see what happened, um, I don't know if it's because I did the plastic, everything just peeled. So printables to the rescue and lucky for you there will be printables down in the description box below. I went ahead with just some fun black and white designs and I just used some double sided tape to get these designs on. Of course you can use glue or whatever you want but I decided to use the tape in case I want to use these for another project because they really are cute plates and I believe I got like six in a pack. So this is again a great Pottery Barn inspired way to just dress up some Dollar Tree pieces. Now originally I just had the two, the raven and the skull and the skeletons, but then I felt like this needed to be styled in threes. So I did add a haunted house to the middle and I feel like this just kind of completes the look. And I have this on my coffee bar and I put up the Dollar Tree peel and stick subway tile sheets. And they're still holding up pretty well. I think they look pretty good. So I've had them up for a couple months and so far so good. We're going to dupe this skeleton candy bowl. So Dollar Tree has these sensor skeletons. I just spray painted mine in black. Surprise, surprise. Dollar Tree also has a ton of different bowls you can use. I just used this pot from Hobby Lobby Clearance I've had forever. Um, I just kind of propped the skeleton where I wanted him to go and then added some hot glue. Um, as the hot glue set, I just kind of brushed away any extra so you don't see it. Um, this took a little bit of time just kind of getting him to go where I needed to go, having him stay in place. But once I did, this was really cute. Now you can use this as a candy bowl or I actually have it on my desk to add pencils to. Barn had some cool skeleton hand pieces. Now Dollar Tree usually has skeleton hand glasses, but my Dollar Trees are just so slow getting the Halloween stuff out. So I took a leftover wood piece from a wood cutout skeleton, painted that, and then I just went ahead and cut that before dry brushing it. And I'm going to glue that right to the top of the jar and you get the similar look but not using like the actual glass with the skeleton that Dollar Tree usually has every year. 
except for the year that I want to dupe it, of course. And then totally optional, I just went ahead and I didn't spray paint. No, no. I dry brushed the lid and I think this looks really cute in this display that I have. I also have some other pieces here from a recent glassware hack video, which I will have in the description box below. Always check the description. A lot of my other projects I feature in the backgrounds of my videos will always be in those links down in the description box. Now, Pottery Barn has a lot of fun different designs. So a great way to get a Pottery Barn look, even if it's something that was like on a doormat or a coaster, is take a picture frame that you have. This is from the Target Dollar Spot. Of course, you can use one you already have or one from Dollar Tree. Um, you can create a printable or make a printable in a similar or comparable design. I, instead of going with the haunted house, since I did that for the plate project, decided to go with this ghost and floral. I see these designs a lot on Etsy, so I wanted to create something similar. I did a solid background for this and then just added it to the picture frame. Super quick and easy. One of my favorite budget-friendly ways to get any inspired look is just a printable in a frame. No paint drying time, no nothing, and you get a really cute look in a matter of seconds. Not new to my channel, you know my love for coasters is real. So Dollar Tree has these wreath charms you can find in like the floral section. I spray painted mine because these act as a great coaster base. So I'm going to take off the little hanger that comes in the back of it and then I added a decal. Um, you can just leave these as is. You can add a stencil to them. Obviously I suggest adding a protectant like a Mod Podge over this so you can use this as a functional coaster and again you get a really easy Pottery Barn look that takes no time. Now Pottery Barn has these fun rattan pumpkins and a little tip is if you look at things at the Dollar Tree like these much smaller pumpkins they have this fun texture that looks like rattan so you can just paint them so you can get that look without actually having to have a rattan pumpkin. So these are a new find to Dollar Tree and definitely something that gets you that Pottery Barn look. So I hope you enjoyed these DIYs. Be sure to let me know down in the description box which of these projects was your favorite. Also just say hi, I love chatting with you all. Thank you so much as always for watching and if you are not subscribed, I definitely invite you to do so. Make sure you turn on that notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. I appreciate each and every one of you who takes time out in your day watching my channel. It means so much to me. I hope you all are doing well and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.